Hello everyone, welcome back to MCS here at the Charlotte Global in D1 for the ninth race of the season. Or, it's, it might be 10th actually. Let me look at that. Uh, no, ninth race of the season here at the Charlotte Robo. I'll be going to the qualifying order. We'll start pacing and then other guy will go over points. Patrick Collins, Jeremy Marcus, Dan Curry, T.C. Kelly, Todd Young, Lewis Hill, Aaron Bush, Justin Bell, Carlos Martinez, Clyde Wheeler Jr., Albert Santos, Gary Collins, Edwards Carl, Clyde Wheeler, Christopher Griffin, Carl Scott, Ralph Curry, Hunter Kong, Pete Bryan, Will Will, Austin Higgins, Augustine Pryor, Michael Young, Sam Dyer, Eric Dawson, Bruce Nuckwit, Brian Newman, Larry Cooper Jr., Brody Earnhardt, Austin Yang, or last race winner, Ross Newman, Corey Soto, Lowell Wise, Christopher Conaway, Michael Bryan, Byron Wise, Potato Tomato, Troy Costa, or Brady Coop, it just says that so points don't get killed. Wallace Fields, Penny Kim, and the rookie James Freeman starting on pole, pole today. Who's your race prediction? Um, I think the longest winning streak in MTS history is about to get ended with the 69 car finally winning. Alright, where is he? Let's see. Eduardo Carlo. That's his teammate. Oh, these are here. I mean, he won from that far back when he won here, I believe, right? Somewhere around yeah, there. Sure won from the far back. I think James Freeman just, I picked him before the qualifying thing even started because we're still waiting to see him win. He was really good in testing this season. Like, before the season started. Cars are in this top five, so they might actually have a chance to. And the top four of their cars are in the top six, and all of them are in the top ten. Five out of the t top ten are about winning. Then you also have a lot of energy. You have like all the energy cars kind of just grouped up here in the middle of the top ten. I got the points, I just couldn't post. This is probably going to be our biggest sending zone, neither the chicane. I thought you can see all the energy cars back there, so you can just tell about their energy cars.
come into the green flag. And green flag. It's going to come out for the first time today at Charlotte Roval. Entering turn one, James Freeman already having to defend uh, Wallace Fields, the driver who won here last season. Penny Kim's going to be on his inside. On the little carousel, if that's what you want to call that. Freeman's able to get the better runoff, but he still has heavy pressure from everyone else behind him. Oh, there's Penny Kim up the outside. That would put Colt Motor. That would put both the Colt Motors cars in. Yeah. His teammate just one last. That bus stop is where it really gets kind of. They get farther away from each other, but I think Wallace Fields is so fast he should be able to keep up. on the little, whatever this thing is. He's going to clear him now. That Valvoline equipment is just so much faster compared to that CMSR equipment. It's hard to keep up. Or not CMSR, what's it called? Uh... Yeah, but what's it called? They, they rebranded that. I don't remember. We'll just say old. We'll just say old Acosta Racing. Is your pick? Oh my God, he's fast. Yeah, we saw him do it back in season two. So, oh, caution! Caution, I believe. That's gonna bring out the caution because they're literally stalled on track. Caution. Do we bring it out ourselves? Oh, oh okay, it's already in a caution. I'm gonna see what happened. It was between five and one. Oh yeah, because it's five. Oh, Hunter Kong is having a good season. Oh, he got hit by another guy. Yeah, he hit the wall on the 53 that we had. Oh no, don't do this. No, we gotta do this before they all die. Still, he's gained two positions. That's more than Wallace Fields has gained. But then, it, but then, it, but then again, he hasn't had a lot of positions to gain. Ooh, I think I don't think I think Austin Lee started outside the top ten. Started 12th and he's into, I believe, 8th. 
Yeah, I think that's going to end the stage, yeah. Well, stage one winner, Wallsfield, but that doesn't matter, because remember, he won't be really getting any... I mean, he's going to get the stage points, it's just going to lower his 100-point deficit at the start of the playoffs. I doubt he's going to get that many stage points at the end of the season. He needs 20 wins, and that's literally not possible. He would want to get as many playoff points as possible to make that 100 points, like 90, but we will see. All his playoff points up to now have been removed, so he just has to get a bunch during this final half of the season. He's looking to get Valvoline their first win of the season. I know they- oh god, they're going- never mind. He might not be the stage winner, because they're going green on the final lap of the stage. Yeah. Just realize there's a lot of rookies inside this top 10. Byron Wheeze was a rookie. Remember when he choked at this track? He used up his equipment. Uh, kind of like his sister. But then again, his sister also has two championships. See how many rookies there are in the in this top ten or like doing good. James Freeman. I mean, aren't we isn't Austin the counted as a rookie this season? Austin the Oh god. Oh, Larry Cooper Jr. Uh, oh, Bruce is doing good. Surprisingly. Yep, and Wallsfields. Oh my god, Wallace. Wallacefields did not like Wallacefields did not like his points deduction. He just wants to win now. Yeah, but I just don't see Jeremy getting it. I feel like he's going to get eliminated in... Because I, I feel like he's going to get eliminated Like, I think Jeremy could very well get eliminated early in the race. What happened to you? Oh, oh blown up. Sand Dyer. That's going to end his day. be able to get back to pit road. We'll see. Oh, oh god, James Freeman is doing what Byron Wise did in his rookie season at this track. He was leading for a little bit and then he just got ran down and now he's losing every position possible. Do you 
Don't be surprised if Jory Costa gets to, uh, what's his name? If he gets to Wallace Fields, he's going to be aggressive. Yeah. I, mean, I think he's going to be able to make it to pit road, but we'll see if he's spilling oil on the track. I don't really know about that. Got a wall back, just filled up a six second lead. Yeah. Because we haven't really had like a dominant driver this season. All the drivers that have wins except Austin and Wayne have two. Austin Liang could very well get a second. Ooh, what happened to Patrick Collins with some damage? Hunter Kong still racing, so I guess that's good. Look at, look at all the energy cars. One of them is part time, so. Oh my god, look at the energy cars. They're just here. Yeah. Austin Liang trying to get another top five. Yes, he's behind that he's way behind the way. God. Oh, James Freeman was able to pull back away from Byron Wise. Oh my god. Wall that folds, you gotta chill. I mean, Acosta's still gonna have another shot once the stage ends. And we're coming to two laps to go, so. I wouldn't mind it. The one I really want to see win right now, though, is James Freeman. I just think, I just think Colt Motors has the, I just think James Freeman equipment is holding him back. I would reference him to a NASCAR driver, but I also don't want to. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about that guy. I'm talking about Tyler Reddick. I feel like he's like. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I mean, he's a good driver. Come into the white flag on stage two. Yes, probably. My god. See, that, this is my thing about Jimmy. Well, you don't know what I else, or what, what I else, what else I saw. Jeremy Marcus, he uh, started, I think, like, almost in the back row, and he's up to 27, so. 39th, and he's up to 27th. That's 12 positions made. Oh, yeah. I should probably do that now. That orange just suck. They're... Yeah, he just hit. What did you say about him? Wait, three seconds? He has an eight second lead.
as you typically do. Or he's gonna do what Reddick did at Auto Club. And blow a tire. This could be everyone else's final shot to pat if I mean if you do get past uh Corey or not Cory Soto, uh Wallace Fields, you're gonna need to run a defensive line on him because he's gonna be faster. I just imagine he just doesn't touch the brakes in the back stretch of game. Oh yeah, and aren't we testing a new draft package there? Hey, my cat is here now. Fields is staring at his old car in his rear view mirror. Keep up with him is his teammate in the 42. Yeah. yeah. He choked here once, but he's a pass winner. Guess what? Guess what? Troy Costa's really hoping this 28 car hits the wall exiting the bus stop. Oh, I thought he hit it for a second. God, Jeremy Marcus, why are you so fast? You started 39. Uh, he started 39th and he's in 26. Exactly. Oh, my pick was James. Oh my god, Mark Jeremy is like speed. He started. Mark Jeremy. 
He's gained 14 positions in 14 laps. That's a position each lap. Bruce might be having his the 32 car's best run ever because their team sucks. I'm not question why Conway has good damage, but I don't think Wallace Fields likes what MCS penalized him with. I think that's why he's so fast. At this point, Acosta just has to really hope Fields makes a mistake, and now that we're looking at it, James Freeman is trying to hold off Ross Newton for his first career top five in the Cup Series. This is fun. Michael Young has always been a good, a good road course racer. What? Oh my god, James Freeman almost just... laps to go here at James Freeman, hold off Ross. Coming to the white flag here at the Roval. Will Wallace Field win this race for the second season in a row? No, no, no. Charlotte Roval. We're gonna go back and watch yeah, this. this is At least get your first career top ten. I don't think he has a top ten yet. Uh, I'm sure he has a top ten. Oh my god, Acosta just got the wall. Okay. Oh my god, Corey Soto might get his first top ten of the season. I don't remember. Why is Cosmo meowing at me? First one of the season. 
surprisingly. We didn't expect we didn't expect it to take them nine races, but they won. Let's see where our picks ended up. Yours ended up twenty eight. After pitting, I don't know why, but Mine ended up 8th after going past with 2 to go. So your top 5 will be Walls Field, Shoy Costa, Byron Wise, Potato Tomato, and uh, Ross Moon rounding around your top 5. That's going to be it for the Charlotte Roval here in MCS. We will see you guys uh, tomorrow, actually. At, or for the Pepsi 600 at this same track, but not the same configuration.